Celebrity Ascent is the fourth in Celebrity's Edge class of cruise ships, and she's got some things that are a little different than some of her sister ships. We've got a full walkthrough tour of Celebrity Ascent. Let's get into it. Everyone, it's Matt from Cruise.blog, and today we're taking you through Celebrity Ascent, the brand new cruise ship that Celebrity has launched, the fourth in the class. Yes, there's still one more to go, but following up on Edge and Apex and beyond, Celebrity Ascent offers a little more than some of those other ships that preceded her. And being an Edge class ship, she has far more in common than some of those ships that we talked about just now. But I wanted to give you a look at what you can expect should you get on board Celebrity Ascent. We're gonna start off with the pool deck, deck 14 mid ship, like so many cruise ships. The pool deck is split across multiple decks with the pool being on the lower deck and then on higher decks, you have chairs and a jogging track and some other place to sit and whatnot. Celebrity Ascent has a main pool. That's its primary pool that any guest is allowed into regardless of age. And there are loungers within the water. There's also, you're gonna find hot tubs around the ship as well. What's interesting about these hot tubs, they kind of look like golf tees, I guess is the best way to describe them, but you're gonna find them around the ship for sure. Now there's also bars around the pool as well for you to enjoy various cocktails. You know, the nice thing about Celebrity is that the drink package, the classic beverage package is included with your cruise if you pick the all included option. And that includes at least some of the drinks. They're primarily well drinks, but if you pay for the premium drink package, then much more of it is included with what you get. I also appreciated that on Celebrity Ascent, there's lots of seating, lots of creative seating, not just lounge chairs, but cushions and couches and plenty of places to sit. I think you're gonna find lots of them, whether you wanna be in the sun or in the shade, there's just a lot of creative seating and it's more than just pool and lounge chairs repeated. There's a lot of cool places and also a lot of nooks. I think the pool deck in general is best described as a pool surrounded by a lot of different spots in here. and. The nice thing is if you want to be outside, but not necessarily right by the pool, there's plenty of options over there. Now you're also going to find ping pong tables and other activities around the pool. This is complimentary. Also the masked grill is complimentary. Masked grill is a grab and go burger spot for you right at the pool deck. So if you're at the pool and you're getting a little hungry and you just want French fries or a burger, this is the place to go. It's including your cruise fare. You can customize it the way you want it. They got burgers, turkey burgers, veggie burgers, hot dogs, and just a great little snack. I wouldn't necessarily go here for a meal per se, but when you're on the pool deck and you just want to continue having that pool deck fun, but are get feeling a little famished, then the mast grill is the place for you. We're going to head up to the jogging track on deck 16. The jogging track essentially encompasses, goes around the pool deck area. There's a walk and a run path. Theoretically, I say theoretically, because in a lot of cases, you're going to find people not necessarily adhering to it, but if you'd like to get a jog or a walk or a stroll in, this is the place for it. Now you will have to probably dodge some people along the way as people also use it to get from point A to point B, but it's an option. You're also gonna find on this deck, the mast bar. So the mast bar is the upper pool deck bar where you can go to grab a drink as well. The nice thing about the mast bar is of course, the better views you're gonna get on a higher deck. The breeze is a little nicer out there. And in general, I'm a big fan of the pool deck on Celebrity Ascent. I think it's a really beautiful space and it's just the perfect place to kind of relax and enjoy some of the you know, different viewpoints you have. Now the magic carpet is in this case right here on the pool deck, but the magic carpet moves up and down the side of the ship. The magic carpet is a multi-use venue. Primarily it's a bar and you go out there and you can enjoy these views. It's cantilevered off the side of the ship and provides just amazing views and a great ocean breeze. Now the magic carpet can move up and deck the side of the ship. It can become a restaurant. It can be the point of embarkation when you're tendering and it's just a neat little feature that makes the Edge Class so unique. We don't see this on any other celebrity ships that are not Edge Class ships, of course. And it's become just really a signature venue. I love going here on sea days and enjoying unblocked views of the ocean around me. You get the breeze, you have a nice selection of beverages over here. It's much my favorite sea day place on any Edge Class ship. And there are special cocktails as well on the Magic Carpet. You can check out the menu there or order your favorites, whatever works for you. Now, if you get there early enough, you'll probably be able to get some of the seats that are around. There's not only chairs, but stools and whatnot. And along the magic carpet, if it's over here, you're also gonna find some more seating areas. 
And that leads us to the Solarium, which is deck 14 mid ship. So the Solarium, and there's Danny from Hard Travel. What's up, Danny? Uh, Danny is checking out the Solarium, which is the adults only area on Celebrity. It's for 16 and above. And the Solarium is essentially the place for adults to go to only. Kids can walk through from point A to point B, but they're not allowed to hang out here unless there is family hour. I've seen on Celebrity Ships in the evening, like 4 to 7 p.m. or something like that, where kids are allowed in here. But other times of the day, it's for adults only, and it's a quiet area. You're not going to find the music in here. You're going to find a hot tub, a pool, plenty of loungers, and it's a great place for a nap. I love the padded loungers they have here. And of course, it's just a lot quieter. So if you're looking for no kids or just a quiet space or both, then the Solarium is the place for you. You're also gonna find the Spa Cafe and Juice Bar in the Solarium. Spa Cafe is a place to get some food and a drink while you're in the Solarium. So this area does have an additional cost for some of the items that you see here. Other things are included, but essentially it is a grab and go casual restaurant option that you have within the Solarium to enjoy. And the nice thing is it's right in here. So just like the mast grill that I talked about earlier being near the pool deck, this place is located very conveniently within the Solarium. If we go to the back of the ship on deck 15, you're gonna find the rooftop garden. The rooftop garden is a multi-use venue and on Ascent, it's actually bigger than you're gonna find on Apex or on Celebrity Edge. And that is because this ship is actually a little bit longer so they have more space for it. It's multi-purpose. So, it's kind of a lounging area. You're going to find chairs and drink service here. You're also going to find pickleball served as well. Pickleball is a huge trend in the cruise industry. They've dedicated some space over here for it. But the rooftop garden is kind of like a multi-purpose, kind of a hangout, quiet space. And it allows you to be surrounded by trees and bushes and other greenery while you enjoy a nice time out, maybe at sea, maybe in port, or even both. Something else unique to Ascent is the fact that there are these two hot tubs you're gonna find within the rooftop garden. Again, Ascent is a little bit longer than the previous or the first Edge class ships. And so there's a nice area for you to go to get wet here, maybe get a little too warm. You can hop right into the hot tub and enjoy the views. And it's cantilevered as well, offering that infinity edge view, which is really fantastic. Rooftop Garden Grill is a restaurant you're gonna find within the rooftop garden. It is an open air restaurant that you can go to. It's an extra cost, so you pay a cover charge in order to dine here and you have a variety of different foods that are available. I love going to Rooftop Garden on a sea day for dinner. It's absolutely beautiful. Maybe you get the sun setting, maybe it's already dark out and you get the breeze going by. It is a great outdoor restaurant. And unlike Apex or Edge, it is set a little bit further in as opposed to on those other ships, the Rooftop Garden Grill kind of extends outwards. Anyway, if there's more space for it and the garden on a bigger ship. Now the Sunset Bar on Deck 15 is arguably one of the best changes Celebrity made with Ascent compared to the first generation of Celebrity Edge class ships. It is larger, bigger, and absolutely beautiful. Sunset Bar is a signature venue you're gonna find on any Celebrity cruise ship, but here on Ascent, I mean, they have really hit a home run with it. Just the space, the amount of area that you have is significantly larger. On Apex and Edge, it's kind of like this little walkway that has a bar. Here, it really feels like a venue. And obviously the name implies it's meant you know, for the sunsets because it's on the back of the ship, but you have absolutely amazing views, great bar, beautiful layout, lots of seating. This has to be a must go spot at least like seven times on your cruise if you're going on ascent because it's a really great space. I love how much space there is to just check out, explore and stretch out compared to Apex, which I went on right before going on ascent. I was really blown away by some of the changes to how much more space you can find which makes it much more of a destination rather than a one and done or rather, you know, limiting space, I should say. There are, again, I've mentioned other nooks and crannies, other seating around the area that you're gonna find. And that's the really nice thing about celebrities. There's lots of places to go to, to find a quiet space, not only here at the Sunset Bar, but also just around the ship in general. And I think that's a really nice feature that maybe you just wanna have a little time alone. That's an option. The retreat is our next stop. The retreat is a suites only area. So Celebrity doesn't have quite a ship within a ship concept, but it's very close to it. The retreat is for suite guests only. And it's an area that encompasses essentially a large subsection of the pool deck, along with an indoor space, which we'll see in a little bit. This area is reserved just for guests who book a suite within the retreat. So this is a special area. You need to have your C-Pass card in order to get in here. And that allows you admission into the retreat to be able to enjoy this space. The retreat has its own pool, it has its own loungers, it has its own chairs. I mean, look at these cool chairs they've got here. 
and it's really encompassing. In fact, the indoor space on Ascent is 25% larger than the indoor space on Edge or Apex. And it really stands out how much space Celebrity dedicates to the retreat area. There's also a hot tub, which you can see over here, in addition to the pool we saw a little bit earlier. And really, this is meant to be your area as a retreat guest. The name implies it's an area to get away from the crowds, be able to find plenty of comfy chairs and seating around you, whether you're in sea or in port. It's really nice having that space around you. And really, that's what the retreat is all about. Having more space, more exclusivity, and basically you pay more to be able to get all of that, including the room, of course. The cabins are bigger, they're sweets, you get that. There's also a bar in the retreat, as you might imagine, along with, of course, plenty of places to enjoy that cocktail. Whether you want to enjoy it right by the table or if you want to go out to one of the chairs. Meanwhile, in the retreat, there's also food available as well, and you can find a variety of different foods served. We're gonna go inside though to check out the inside part of the retreat. As I mentioned, it is 25% larger. You'll find the retreat on the original Edge class ships. And really the inside area kind of doubles as a lounge, coffee shop, and meeting place. And with plenty of air conditioning in between, of course. The retreat is an interesting area. It's something that as somebody who's cruised primarily with Royal Caribbean, we don't really have something like it. There are sweet lounges and there are sweet sun decks, but this is like that concept times 10, certainly. And it certainly has way more space, more to do, including Lumine, which is an exclusive restaurant just for sweet guests. Lumine is available throughout your cruise as a retreat guest. Think of it like the main dining room, but for sweet guests only. It has its own menu and it has different offerings for sweet guests during your sailing. Most people go there, I think, for dinner, but you can also find breakfast and lunch served in Lumine. It's another option to choose from and another benefit to staying in the retreat. I think for a lot of people, the dining on Celebrity is a big attraction and having access to Lumine means an additional option without having to spend extra on a specialty restaurant. So while a suite is certainly not cheap by any means, for a lot of people, they kind of justify it to some extent by having some of these benefits, access to the retreat, being able to go to Lumine for meals. That is important to a lot of people who go on a cruise, but that isn't to say that you'll have a bad time if you're not staying in the retreat. You'll find equally good food in other venues that we'll talk about in a little bit, but wanted to show you what Lumine was all about. We're gonna head back outside to one of my favorite venues that is included in your cruise. That is Ocean View Cafe located deck 14 aft. This is the buffet restaurant on Celebrity Edge. And I gotta tell you, that this is my favorite kind of buffet. I'm gonna say it's even better than the Windjammer on Royal Caribbean. I just love the variety of food, the different cooking stations. It really stands out how impressive the variety of food here is at Ocean View Cafe. The Ocean View Cafe is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on every day of your cruise. It's complimentary included in there. And what I love about it again is that variety. There's tons of choices, no matter how picky, you are, I'm gonna go on a limb here and say there's gonna be something here for you. Now, buffets are still a buffet, right? And there's certainly a stigma I think some people have with buffets, but Ocean View Cafe really stands out to me because not only is the food freshly served here, but there's just so much of it. It really stands out for lunch and dinner in which the stations do rotate because you have different variety of food. Some things remain the same all the time, like Roe is gonna have like a sandwich station and grilled chicken and things of that nature but I like the fact that they have an entire Indian food section among other selections and you've got grilled options and you have stir fry, I absolutely love it. And of course, I would be remiss when talk about the ice cream, you've got scoop gelato actually over here. I know the gelato and ice cream are the same thing, I apologize, but you've got it in Ocean View. There's also another coffee bar in the Ocean View Cafe. The Ocean View Cafe bar is where you can get not only cocktails, but also coffees if you'd like. So if you're looking for your morning pick me up, this is definitely when this bar is extra busy because everybody wants their coffee in the morning. You're also gonna find other bars within Ocean View Cafe to again, get cocktails. It's a pretty big space. You're also gonna find complimentary drinks in Ocean View Cafe. There's coffees, hot water, tea, juices as well. They are self-service, so grab them as you go. There is waiter service as well. So if you're sitting down, you usually find someone coming up to you who will take your drink order. They can serve you both stuff that's included as well as drinks that cost extra if you have a drink package or you're paying for it individually. The nice thing Ocean View Cafe also is it a massive space, tons of seating, both inside and outside, which is a huge advantage. I love going out on sea days, especially in the morning, to outdoor venues to enjoy my meals. And on Celebrity Ascent, there is lots of outdoor seating to enjoy. So don't limit yourself to the first table you find. It's a really good idea to walk all the way to the back and enjoy some of the views out there. Again, being a buffet, the variety is why you would go to Ocean View Cafe, and it's an option that's there.
The fitness center is deck 15 forward. And if you're into getting your exercise in, there are a lot of great choices here. You might be surprised how much exercise machines there are on Celebrity Ascent because it's not just a couple of free weights and a treadmill. You're gonna find, well, treadmill and free weights, but also lots of other machines, ellipticals, Stairmasters, and plenty of other equipment. It's a really big space. And I think a lot of people who are new to cruises might not realize just how big the fitness center is and it's included, which is really amazing, including the Pelotons which is something that you really don't see on many lines. There are also optional classes that do cost extra if you want to enjoy, but you could partake in them if you so choose. There are also seminars and other extra cost options in the spa fitness center. Again, up to you, but a lot of people like to go there in the morning, get their workout in, and then enjoy the rest of the day. You're also gonna find the spa on deck 14 forward right near the fitness center. The spa is an extra cost venue in which you can go to get a variety of treatments and spa options available. There's a salon, there are the spa treatments themselves, and it's nice that you have this choice here, the do cost extra, but some people do enjoy that. There's also a barber shop in case guys want to get their hair cut. There's a specialized venue for them. And of course, really the spa is all about, well, the treatments that you can get. There's a variety of massages and different treatments available, different costs, you can book them before the cruise or once on board, you can stop by and ask for the price list as well as just simply ask for what specials they have. There's usually a special every day. So stop on by, see what they got. But it's kind of a neat option for people who really want to splurge and treat themselves when you go to the spa. There's lots of great options that are there. There's also a thermal spa. There's an option that you have that has a variety of things like a sauna and thermal chairs, and these are available to rent as well. Next up, let's take a look at the main dining rooms. They're located on deck three and four at the back of the ship, and there are four main dining rooms. Now, the venues have different themes and mostly the same menu. What do I mean by this is that the menu is the same across all four venues, but each venue has a special sub menu for selections based on that restaurant. Each restaurant is based on a region of the world, Tuscan being Italy, Cyprus being Greece, you kind of get it. And the idea here is that not only do you have the main dining room menu that everybody gets to enjoy, but there are special starters and entrees exclusive to that restaurant. Now I say exclusive, but in reality, if you're eating at one and want to order one off the other one, you can totally do so. Just simply ask your wait staff. The main dining room is included in your cruise and it's available throughout your sailing. And really a lot of people love going here for their dinners primarily. You can enjoy other meals in the main dining room, but dinner is really where the main dining room shines. Next up is Grand Plaza. This is the main area, the hub of activity on Celebrity Ascent located through decks three, four, and five. When you board the ship, you're gonna arrive in Grand Plaza. Grand Plaza is designed to be a hub of activity. If you're standing in here, you can easily look around and see a bunch of different things happening. Heck, just this vantage point right here, you can see what I'm talking about. There's different bars, different areas to go to. There's gonna be entertainment offered. And of course, it's an absolutely beautiful space. So let's start with the Martini Bar, located deck three midship. As you might've guessed based on the name, yeah, they serve a lot of martinis at the Martini Bar. This might be the like signature celebrity bar on any cruise ship. There's plenty of martinis served here and it is a happening place, a place to be seen and enjoy. And they do shows here with the martini show. It's a really impressive space. And it's not only beautiful, not only has a great menu, but it has the most energy that I've seen in a cruise bar. It's incredible. You have this beautiful LED chandelier above it. That's absolutely stunning. It's actually one of the big changes with Celebrity Ascent versus our other ships. Also nearby is Guest Relations, located deck three midship. Guest Relations is where you can go if you have a problem on board the cruise ship. Whether you have your CPAS cards not working, a billing issue, any other thing that comes to mind, you're gonna head over to Guest Relations to get it taken care of. The Concierge Lounge is located right nearby. So the Captain's Club of Concierge is for guests who are staying in Concierge class cabins, as well as, of course, the Captain's Club, which is the loyalty program available here. So they're here to help those guests. It's kind of like their own little version of guest relations. They can go over there. Craft Social Bar is back in the Grand Plaza and Craft Social Bar is kind of the de facto sports bar, I'm gonna say on board Celebrity Ascent. It has lots of TVs and you can go and enjoy the game. And it's also really well known for the whiskeys they have on selection here. So if you're a big whiskey fan, they don't only have the usual suspects, you know, Gentleman Jack and Jameson, Jack Daniels, etc. They have a wider variety of whiskeys, quite frankly, some I've never even heard of before. There are also food items you can order. The food items do cost extra. Of course, the drinks cost extra, but I think you knew that already. But there is a food selection option you can order from that is not included in your cruise fare. 
I kind of like Craft Social the most of many of these bars because it just has this nice laid back approach to it and they have a good variety of liquors to choose from. So it's not just more of the same. We're gonna head to Cafe Albaccio on deck four midship. This is the coffee shop on Celebrity Ascent. The really neat thing about Cafe Albaccio is that not only they have plenty of coffee to serve up, but they also have waiter service here. So you could go right up to the bar and order a drink like you would at almost any coffee shop, or you could actually go sit down and have a waiter take your order, which is kind of neat, something you don't see a lot of times because it allows that extra service to be brought to you and they can bring you your drinks. This is a great place to kind of read a book, do some work. You're gonna see a lot of people with their laptops and iPads reading, doing work, and just kind of enjoying the space and also having a cup of coffee. There are pastries available as well, and it's a very popular option on, well, any celebrity ship. Le Voyage is our next specialty restaurant to check out. Le Voyage has been redesigned for Celebrity Ascent, and it is a high-end French restaurant that has been curated by a celebrity French chef. And the cool thing about this particular restaurant is if you're a foodie, if you want the ultimate curated meal, uh, Le Voyage is definitely the place for you because it is a fixed menu and it's kind of a neat space. Le Grand Bistro serves two purposes. At lunchtime, it is a traditional French restaurant. You're gonna see lots of French food served here, lots of baguettes. Uh, it's a great spot for that. At night, it becomes Le Petit Chef. We'll get to that in a minute. For lunchtime, Le Grand Bistro is a place to get a variety of different French foods. And it's served, they have, I love these windows that are here. It's a really beautiful space. And it's a specialty restaurant, which means there's a cover charge to dine here. And it's not included in your cruise fare. But at night, this place changes to Le Petit Chef. And Le Petit Chef is an interesting concept. It is a bit of show food and entertainment all wrapped in one. Essentially, you sit down at a meal and everybody sits down at their own tables, but it's all had at the same time. And you have these projectors above you that have a show that you get to enjoy on your table and plate below you. It's really neat. And the Le Petit Chef on Celebrity Ascent is different than you might find on other ships that have this show. So it's kind of a neat option. The food is pretty good as well. The thing about Le Petit Chef is it's a fixed menu. There are an alternative menu as well, but this is not a restaurant to go to if you're not an adventurous eater because the menu is pretty limited. But it's a really cool show, a neat idea. Of course, Le Petit Chef does cost extra. Photo Gallery is located deck four midship as well as shares with the Eye Lounge. The Photo Gallery is where you can go check out the onboard photos you may have taken and purchase prints for that. And the Eye Lounge is where you can go to purchase, well, Apple products. Now, the Photo Gallery is pretty straightforward. Most people are used to this. If you've been on a cruise ship before, the photographers go around the ship, take your photos, and you go here, hold up your CPAS card, and you can see the photos available to purchase. There's also the studio, which is a special photography area. If you'd like to have more of a private seating for photography, you can have that done. And these prints come at an additional cost as well. The Shore Excursion Desk is located right nearby, and this is where you can go to have any questions answered about, well, any tours you might have. You could book a tour, you could inquire about a tour, or make changes to any excursions you book. My advice is pre-book it before the cruise, but there's an option here to speak with somebody. Future Cruise is where you can go to book another celebrity cruise. You're on board the ship, you'd love to book another cruise in order to let the magic happen again, maybe book for the same cruise next year or a different itinerary altogether. Well, you have that option there and there are usually agents here to book you another cruise and there are also added benefits for booking on board. The Meeting Place is our next stop. It's Deck 4 Midship and it's essentially the conference center that they have here on Celebrity Ascent. There is a casino on Celebrity Ascent. Look at Deck 4 Midship. There are slot machines, blackjack tables, poker tables, craps tables. What really stands out about celebrity casinos is that it's a non-smoking venue. And so you don't have to worry about there being a cloud of smoke or smoke in general anywhere in the area. It does not have a bar in the casino, which is kind of surprising. There is bar service, but there is no bar located within the casino. But as you might imagine, of course, the casino costs extra and it's your choice if you want to risk it all and give it a try and see what you can win. But it's a very large space, lots of slot machines, plenty of tables as well. Tables usually open up in the evening and the slots are open during the daytime and evening as well. Next up, we've got shopping and there are plenty of shops on board. So in general, we're gonna talk about the different shops you can choose from. You know, being an elevated cruise line like Celebrity, you're gonna have a lot of name brands to choose from, whether it's perfumes or cigarettes or clothing or souvenirs. The idea here is that you can do shopping that you'd wanna bring things back home for in addition to the places you might visit. You'll find a variety of different shops on board Celebrity Ascent. And again, you'll find a lot of name brands along the way. What's interesting is of course, there's a variety. So if you're talking about the liquors you can purchase on board, 
Of course, those will be delivered for you to take home at the end of the cruise. You won't be able to enjoy them in your cabin, that is, I should say. But in addition to that, you're also gonna have a lot of different clothing. You can find celebrity souvenirs. A lot of times people wanna have different souvenirs that say, you know, Celebrity Ascent or Celebrity Cruises. This is where you can go to pick those items up and be able to take them home with you, which is a nice way to remember that. There's an FE Jewelry store, which is really popular. Of course, you can go here and pick up, well, FE Jewelry, and there's earrings and necklaces and all sorts of things, rings, you name it. And there's handbag stores and plenty of jewelry to choose from as well. Again, you're on vacation. And for a lot of people, taking home these souvenirs, celebrating this cruise with a special purchase might be for you, might not be. There's also a Cartier store as well that you can enjoy this. There's, of course, watches in here. And there's just a lot of shopping opportunities on Celebrity Ascent. So whether you're just window shopping or you're really going in with a goal in mind, this exists. The club is available on deck four and five midship. The club is a multi-purpose venue. It has a variety of different activities held in here. And depending on the time of day, you're gonna have different things. There could be trivia, there could be uh, comp game shows and competitions, there could be dancing, there could be silent disco and a variety of different things happening within the club. And you're gonna find within the Celebrity app plenty of times in which there's something to do within the club. And it really does change throughout the day. There's also a golden tea machine here in the club, something you don't find on many cruise ships at all, but Maybe you're a big fan of that video game. And again, they're sitting on both the upper level and the bottom level, so up to you what you wanna do. Next up is the Annex. The Annex is exclusive to Celebrity Ascent. It wasn't available on Beyond or any other Celebrity Edge class ships. This is a private area that you can rent out for two and a half hours at a time. Essentially, you can use it to do karaoke, you can do a golf simulator, play baseball. There's a variety of different things that you can do, including Don here popping up to the second baseman but maybe you're better at this like Tanner and you can really drive the ball right into that tree. You know, no matter how good or not good you are at the game, the nice thing about this is it's fun and it's a way to celebrate with friends and enjoy that for an extra cost, but not bad either. The theater is in the front of the ship and the theater is where you can go to enjoy a show. You're gonna find a couple different shows on your cruise and this is where you can enjoy some evening entertainment. Primarily it's open in the evening. They might do some things here in the daytime, but really when you're going here, you're going here to see a show. This is musicals, this is performances, dancing, and I absolutely love this venue. It's a really pretty thing because they have a great stage that comes out in front and a beautiful 4K screen behind it that really sets the atmosphere so well. You really gotta check out these shows. The best part about these shows is that they're complimentary as well. No additional cost to enjoy a show in the theater. So take advantage of it, definitely see the shows because they're a really cool element and a big part of cruising really on any line, but especially celebrity. Let's check out the art gallery located deck five midship. The art gallery is really a place to preview some of the art that you can bid on in the art auction located elsewhere on the ship. Art auctions are a kind of tradition you'll find on cruises and there's artwork that you can just look at as well as artwork that you can bid on later on if you're so interested. It's uh, an option that's out there. It's not my favorite thing to do, but some people really do enjoy the art gallery. Something to check out. Also on Celebrity Ascent is the World Class Bar, a bar that is well known on other celebrity ships, but it's making its appearance here on Celebrity Ascent. This is a great bar to go if you're really into cocktails and want something a little bit different. You know, the martini bar as well, well, they serve martinis, but here you're gonna find plenty of different cocktails and concoctions and who knows what beers, of course, as well, but it's a nice place to go to. I love going here and just perusing the menu or better yet, ask the bartender to surprise you. There's a lot of variety at the bar here at World Class Bar. Raw on Five is another specialty restaurant that you can find. It is located, well, on Deck Five, as the name implies, and you're gonna find shellfish, you're gonna find sushi, and it's a restaurant that does have a la carte pricing, so you pay for your items as you go, where you can go to enjoy a great variety of food, and for anybody who loves seafood, this is the place for you. As a sushi lover myself, this is my go-to spot for this. I just love being able to get that, but they also have clams and mussels to enjoy. Fine Cut Steakhouse is our next stop. Fine Cut Steakhouse is the signature steakhouse on Celebrity Cruises. And here on Ascent, it's an absolutely beautiful space. What's nice about the steakhouse is that it's pushed back the walls all the way to the windows. So you get some really good views out here. But if you're going to Fine Cut Steakhouse, you're going because you want a great steak. You get a filet mignon, you get the tomahawk, which is a giant steak for two. You can get a filet mignon on the bone. There's a lot of cool different cuts of steaks here. It's a cover charge design at Fine Cut but it's a real home run for a lot of people because they just love a good filet. The Chocolatier is also available on deck five midship. If you're into some high-end chocolates, you can peruse what they got here. 
purchase them. They do cost extra, but listen, if you're really into chocolate, you want something more than just the usual, this is the place to go. We're gonna stop by Blue, which is located deck five midship. Blue is a private dining venue with spa style cuisine that celebrity cruises, passengers in aqua class cabins and other suites have exclusive access to. The restaurant specializes in clean cuisine, which really means it's a way to prepare food that is fresh and inventive. An example of this is the truffle vinaigrette that you'll find on your steak in place of the heavier Bernays sauce. Also nearby is this really weird walkway. The Edge Class ships all have this. I think it's really meant to kind of make you stop and look. It's also art, obviously. But the nice thing is it's just a really interesting space. Kind of grabs your attention for sure. Something to check out. Another signature venue is the Eden. And this is located on the aft of the ship. It's a versatile space on board that serves as a restaurant, bar, and entertainment venue. Eden is filled with greenery on the walls and ceiling, which is accented with green decor around the space. The space also provides so much natural light. It's really a great place to relax if you're looking for peace and quiet without sacrificing those ocean views or air conditioning. I really love the aesthetic here. It's just a really warm and intimate place and it's very welcoming. And like the rest of Celebrity Ascent, this venue was thoughtfully designed. The nice thing is late in the evening, Eden transforms. In the daytime, you have a chill place, but in the evening, you're gonna have Wonder at Eden, the Shimmer Box. And this is an interactive show with both risque and amusing with a variety of singing acts featured music from the 70s to modern day hits. And of course, there's a bar in here to enjoy as well. Kind of a neat area. And what's fun about this particular space is again, the variety and that it transforms from day to night. Nearby, there's an Eden restaurant that has some grab and go food sandwiches and salads that you can purchase. Some of it is included, some of it costs extra. So you have to check it out the menus. There's some drinks you can get here. But the nice thing is they have a Reuben sandwich and I'm a sucker for a Reuben sandwich. I love it. So you can get that there. It's open for breakfast and lunch, not for dinner. So you can get a nice little snack, something grab and go. It's usually not that crowded. So if you're looking to escape any of the lines, maybe the Ocean View Cafe is a little too long. This is definitely the place to go because there's not as busy usually. Most people don't even know that it exists until later on in the cruise. Also something to note about the eatery at the cafe is that you actually go outside and enjoy some of the outdoor seating. Again, I love being able to take my food and sit outside. So you have to give you a pager, sit out there and wait for your food to be ready and you can enjoy it back outside, which is really neat. There's also the Eden Specialty Restaurant located at the back of the ship. It's a stunning three-story venue with soaring ceilings, hundreds of plants, and unparalleled view of the ship's weight. There's a seven course tasting menu with wine, or you can order a la carte as you wish. It's really an interesting idea with the cover charge. And I think this really leans heavily into the foodie atmosphere. So again, Celebrity has plenty of great food. That's the traditional stuff but also a good variety of things that are different and unique and make it really stand out for people who really enjoy being far more adventurous with their dining. If you got younger kids, there is Camp at Sea located deck three midship. Camp at Sea is the kids club on board. It's available for kids of all ages. You can bring them in there. Kids at Sea is complimentary to bring them in and enjoy your time. And they split them up depending on the age. That way, of course, the you know four-year-olds are not doing the same thing as the nine-year-olds. So it's age-appropriate entertainment. There's different programming, different activities available and it's available throughout most of the day. Although if your kids do stay late at night, there can be an extra charge there. But the cool thing about the Kids Club is it's a great place for the kids to go and meet other children and have fun and make friends. Meanwhile, the adults can go somewhere else on the ship and of course know that their kids are in a safe place. It's supervised, so you have, don't have to worry about, oh gosh, where are my kids up to? Are they getting in trouble? Things of that nature. If you have teenagers, well, then you'll wanna go to the basement for them. This is just like the kids club, but for teenagers only 13 years old and up. And this has a lot of cool spaces for them to enjoy. There's also programming for the teens on here. The teen club tends to be more of a place to meet other teens and then maybe they hang out and do activities together. Maybe they go out for the rest of the ship and enjoy some time together, but it's available there as well and no cost. We're gonna check out some of the cabins which are available throughout the rest of the ship that we haven't seen yet. No doubt your cabin will be somewhere on one of these decks. There are elevators in the forward and mid part of the ship to take you all the way up and down and get you around. And somewhere along the way, you're gonna find a cabin that might look like one of these. And we got a chance when we were on Ascent to check out a couple of different cabin types. And there are inside cabins and ocean view cabins and there are infinite verandas and even suites. And there are pros and cons to all sorts of cabins, right? Depending on how many people are in your party, what your budget is, what you're looking for in a room, there are a variety of different choices available. So you can really get on board Celebrity Ascent, stay in an inside room and not spend a lot, or Go for the big rooms, go for one of those retreat cabins and be able to enjoy everything that comes with that type of a room that's available as well. And there are even mega suites that are truly impressive how much space you can get. Some of them really look like apartments more than even 
hotel rooms, but it's really impressive. And what I love about Celebrity is that modern aesthetic that you see here with the design. It doesn't look like a hotel room that you might usually find somewhere on land. There's something a little more special about it. And depending on what your budget and your needs are, there's probably going to be a cabin that's going to be working for you. Well, there you have it. I want to mention, of course, that Celebrity Ascent is a really impressive ship. And the really cool thing about Celebrity Ascent is just how much there is to do. You know, being a premium cruise line and a brand new ship, it's a compelling option for a lot of people. And hopefully this tour helps you understand exactly what to expect once you get on board the ship. Hopefully this tour has been helpful. If you did, you found it useful, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube lets them have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from cruise.blog, and we'll talk again real soon.